Example number 3. A train ran for 50 kilometers per hour north for 3 hours and 25 kilometers per hour south for 2 hours. What was the average speed and average velocity of the train? So, unahin muna natin yung average speed. So, solving for average speed. Okay? So, again, review. Average speed is total distance. over time. Okay? Once again, itong train na to, meron siyang dalawang motion. So, tawagin natin ito, itong part na to, ito yung tawagin natin speed 1. Okay? Okay? And then itong, or motion 1. So, itong part na to naman ay speed 2. Okay? So, kung may speed 1, Yang speed 1 na yun ay distance 1 over time 1. So, distance na trinavel niya for 3 hours at the speed of 50 kilometers per hour over time 1. At yung speed 2 naman ay distance na natravel niya by moving 25 kilometers per hour south for 2 hours over time 2. Okay? So, ngayon yung average speed ay distance 1 plus distance 2 over time 1 plus time 2. Okay? So, alam na natin yung time 1 at time 2. So, burahin na natin to Palitan na natin to ng actual numbers. Okay? Yung time 1, ito ay 3 hours at ito ay 2 hours. So, ito ay 3 hours plus 2 hours. Okay? So, ngayon, let's solve for D1. So, speed 1 is 50 kilometers per hour, which is equal to distance 1 over time 1. So, time 1 ay 3 hours. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, yung D1 ay equal sa 50 kilometers per hour times 3 hours so, cancel to, cancel to, magiging 150 kilometers. So, yan ang D1. Okay? Sabihin ito ay 150 kilometers. O, yung D2 naman. Yung D2 ay masasolve natin gamit yung equation na to. So, speed 2 is equal to distance 2 over time 2. So, yung speed 2 ay 25 kilometers per hour which is equal to distance 2 yung hinahanap natin over time 2 which is 2 hours okay so para makuha natin yung d2 yun ay 25 kilometers per hour times 2 hours which is equal to d2 so cancel to so, 25 times 2 ay 50 kilometers. Okay. So, yung sabihin ito ay plus 50 kilometers over 3 hours plus 2 hours which is equal to 5 hours. So, 150 kilometers plus 50 kilometers is equal to 200 kilometers over 5 hours. Okay. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang sagot ay 200 kilometers divided by 5 hours. That is equal to 40 kilometer per hour. Okay, so ang final answer, yan, pwede natin ilagay yung final answer dito. Final answer, okay, average speed is equal to 40 kilometers per hour. So, ito siya. So, ngayon naman, solving for average velocity. So, ano ba ang average velocity? Average velocity is total displacement over time. Okay? So, same kanina, meron siyang dalawang motion. So, kanina, tinawag natin siyang speed 1 at speed 2. 
O yun ngayon, dahil velocity tayo, tawagin natin tong velocity 1 at ito naman ay velocity 2. Okay? So, velocity 1 is displacement 1 over time 1 and velocity 2 is displacement 2 over time 2. Okay? So, in that way, average velocity is total displacement. So, yun ay displacement 1 plus displacement 2. So, kano yung displacement niya sa unang motion niya at displacement niya sa pangalawang motion niya? Over time. Okay? So, ganun siya. So, ngayon, na-solve na din natin to kanina. So, hindi ko na siya pahahabain tong time 1. ay 3 hours. So, ito ay magiging 3 hours kasi ito ay 3 hours. At yung time to ay 2 hours. So, ito ay magiging 2 hours. So, yung displacement 1, katulad kanina, ay equal pa rin sa 50 times 3, right? Which is 150 kilometers. Pero, ilalagay natin yung north. No? So, ito naman, yung displacement 2 niya, displacement 1 ito, no? So, displacement 2 ay 25 times 2 pa din, which is 50 kilometers. Pero, ilalagay natin yung south. Okay? So, yun lang pinagkaiba sa average velocity. Tinitake into consideration mo yung direction to which the object is moving o so kung saan siya papunta. Sa average speed, hindi importante yun. No? Ina-add lang natin, di ba? Pero sa average velocity, kinoconsider natin yun. So, dahil ito ay south, okay, ito ay negative 50 kilometers. Okay? Kasi nga, south siya. So, kung matatandaan nyo sa nakaraan nating video, pag south, anong ginagawa natin, di ba? Partition coordinate, so ginagawa natin negative 50. Okay, so ito yung magiging 150 kilometers plus negative 50 kilometers. So, negative kasi south. So, ilagay natin dito. Negative kasi south. Okay? Over 3 hours plus 2 hours. So, that's just 5 hours. So, 150 kilometers plus negative 50 kilometers. So, that's just like 150 minus 50. So, ito ay 100 kilometers over 5 hours. So, that's just 20 kilometers per hour north. Okay? So, yun ang sagot. Okay, so final answer ay average velocity is equal to 20 kilometers per hour north. So, ito siya.